Good morning, everybody, from Port Canaveral. It's disembarkation day, as you can see. But uh, our wonderful housekeeper was letting me ch tour one of these back viewing rooms. Look at this, this the back of the ship right here. So if you were sailing, you can see the water down there. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, so we got breakfast this morning, and then we're going to review everything. Kids are getting up. Everybody's a little tired. We stayed up pretty late last night, so... It's moving a little slow. I'm obviously up and ready to go because I got a whole day ahead of us. Um, I am going from here to the airport or home to the airport and then I'm going off to um, California for Disneyland and Oogie Boogie tomorrow. Yeah, that's quite a week. And then when we get back, we move. All in a week. Yeah, it's going to be kind of crazy, but uh, we'll get the kids up and we'll get rolling. And then, of course, we'll do the uh, talk about the cruise after uh, we get up to the car and then you know kids will chime in too because obviously Tanner has some things to say <laughs> all right uh let's go wake them up and get to breakfast all right we are officially done in the room I'm doing the final checks make sure we don't leave anything behind uh, as you can see we are back and forth well you guys already saw that um kids went through all the candy <laughs> and I think we're good all right uh, we slept in this room really well for seven nights. It's the final menu, everybody. It's the final one. Mm-hmm. Shelly got the ham omelet. We got some toast, some butter, fruit bowl, Belgian waffle, chocolate chip pancake. Alley. Don't you think it's kind of weird they make you get off before you get back on? <laughs> we're not getting yeah, no, we're not getting on. But I'm just saying, you know. And we got the same room, the same hostess and everything, you know? All right, we are officially heading off the ship now. Uh, just finished up breakfast. We got little Allie and Tanner back there. I mean, we could we could probably stay in one? I don't know. <laughs> She's that smile like, don't tease me. We always take a get off the ship picture right here on the stairway and they have it completely blocked off. Oh, all right, well, pumpkin tree, Disney fantasy. We're heading off, we're going through customs and uh, we'll meet you guys at the other side. You okay? Yeah. Are you sad? A little bit. He's sad. I you happy? Oh good, we, we got one happy one here. Wow. Just finished the cruise. Tell us about your cruise overall experience because there's way too much to cover in like a seven night cruise. It is, it was fantastic. 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 Very relaxing. Very. <laughs> um, um, more relaxing than you wanted. It was a little bit more relaxing than I wanted. I wanted to do a little bit more, but I have a boo girl. Yeah, that's boo -boo. She was on relax mode the entire time. She was like, bunk beds? Yes. Uh, Not eating? 100%. Highly suggest a seven night cruise. Oh, yeah. I just feel like you don't get the same experience in a three or four night cruise. You don't. Seven like night. Animator's Palette last night, prime example. Just like the whole relaxation of a seven night cruise. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's great. Tanner, tell us about the edge and how much you edged up. Over there. Um, Edge was really good. I what? made friends. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. you guys run around the ship and they had video games and there all was, sorts? You of... weren't at the Edge dance party at the pirate night. I noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like the fact that I didn't feel like in a three night cruise, four night cruise. I'll even say four night. You feel like you're trying to eat everything, do everything, yeah. try everything. Yeah, like just like you're really trying to pack it in. Now seven night, you're like, well, you know, you got to look at the schedule, of course, throughout the week. That's yeah. a very important first day of the cruise. Look at the schedule for the week. Um, what's something you didn't like besides having to sit in the room a lot? <laughs> uh, I actually wasn't very impressed with any of the dinners this time, and I'm very surprised. I ate it all. I don't really know why. I just, they were just kind of meh. 
Okay. For me, the dinners are wonderful, but I also eat the same food every day, so food on the cruise is always like a spoil to me. Allie had a great time in the kids club. I actually had to go pick her up last night at 11.50. <laughs> they close at midnight. Yeah. And so I had to go get her. Yeah, that was cool. Um, <laughs> we're really surprised. Allie, Allie, hi. You did such great development during this cruise. You learned to climb up on bunk beds, and she jumps in the pool. Yep, she's not scared of characters. Yes, that's a huge thing that came out of this cruise for us. Uh, I take her to Magic Kingdom or the parks, and she sees the characters, and she would freak out. Now she's like, hi, Donald. Yeah. <sighs> so that was... Yeah, we saw so many characters. Um, also, like, with a seven-night cruise, so the first day like embarkation day and the first sea day yeah the pools were packed yeah after that they are yeah not day packed once you get past because, day four yeah on a three night they're packed every single day I'm trying to think what i didn't like on the cruise but so i was taking ellie to the splash pad and stuff yeah. and it was so nice like not packed it, it, you oh, just got to get past the first like sea day because then everybody's kind of doing other things and or a little bit of pool and yeah. yeah oh the the movie oh yeah frequency of certain movies like after day four i think it was there was no more planet of the apes and on the days they did have it it was midday when all the other entertainment was happening yeah and i feel like planet of the apes would be more of a 10:45 movie not inside out 2 right and they had Inside Out 2 playing so much. So much. Even though we all know it's going to be on Disney Plus in like two days. Yeah. <laughs> Just, I don't know. Yeah, they should have had a more variety of movies. I mean, that's a good variety. They even had a Net, uh, Net Geo about tigers on there. Yeah. But that was only one showing for the entire cruise. Um, yeah. Now with the Deadpool thing, uh, they have to have a cast member sit at the entrance of the theater the entire movie. Mm. So one of them, he's like, this is my first, uh, fifth time seeing this movie already. Yeah. So, uh, this baby. I say mommy. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, baby. Can you please put the big bodies up like this? Oh, she saw a bunch of... The big Barbie? We didn't really cover shopping because we were worried about, like, every time we walk in there, she'd be like, this is my Barbie now? And Anne. And this one's mine. Um, uh, food for me overall was great. I, I, I didn't quick service as much. Uh, usually I quick service a lot. And on the Wish, I feel like I'm constantly eating things. On here, I was... I, was, I mean, I had a beef <laughs> Wellington for the first time ever <clears throat> last yeah. night. And I just feel like the, the food on a seven night has more variety too. So much... Tanner, tell them about the crab legs. Oh, crab was good. We had it like every night. <laughs> yeah, we had crab legs every day. Except Castaway. All right, most importantly. Most importantly what? What's your cone count? Ooh, Tanner, cone count, bro. 43. 43. Mommy. 37. 23. 23. Allie, what's your cone count? I'll say 10. All right. Bluey. Okay, Bluey. 20, Bluey. 20. <laughs> probably had like so well, yeah she had a couple most of them never made it to the end our kids are such night owls too. yes that's another thing um you guys all know i stay up late two three o'clock in the morning all the time the kids our are the kids same also. way they also love that they don't want to wake up in the morning they want to stay up late in the darkness yeah and then they'd sleep in till nine or <laughs> ten i can't i can't it, it hurts they did because like that inside room there's no daylight there's oh, no yeah. light of any kind so if you ever get an through. inside room and you don't set an alarm you may sleep for a day yeah you might sleep for <laughs> an entire day, day. <laughs> so you have no idea if it's day and what time of the day it is yeah you kind of like wake up there's no clock so you have to grab your phone because so usually when we pulled in the port now this is something to think about um aft end of the ship right there's a lot more vibration due to the engines and everything but when you pull in the port it doesn't matter where you are on the ship when they turn the uh, forward and aft bow thrusters um the entire ship vibrates like crazy but that's usually about six o'clock in the morning and you're like i got another hour and a half no no it turns into nine o'clock real quick yep so um love the inside room i got to, my our stateroom hostess was super cool he let me go tour a couple out of the rooms um the 
larger inside deluxe room just has the larger storage capacity and the uh, the bathroom separation we only have the one bathroom yeah um, that's the difference okay. more storage and the second bathroom that's it that's what you're paying for if you want the deluxe one yeah now the aft room that was super cool like you you would just be on the back of the ship and the, the, the area is super long there's a nice overhang mm. Mm, yeah that's cool I did a quick tour nice <laughs> our state room hostess was amazing mm. and he, he said he'll be there next year yeah. when we're on there in May his name is Ronald he's the only Ronald uh, uh, yeah he told us he's right the now. only Ronald on the ship right now in the hostess yeah. department so, the yeah. state host. State host, yes. So, um, I can't really think of anything I didn't like about our I dining mean, host. Oh, dining host. Good. Oscar from the beverage team up on deck eleven. <laughs> I know I don't use I like, but you know he was always like, "What's up, Ron?" <laughs> like, the I, you really get to know the cast. I think that's the coolest thing too. You really get to know everybody on the ship. Yeah. Not just the people working, but I got to start getting to know. Some other people. Yeah, you kind of like start seeing the same people over and mm -hmm. over. And then you'll be like, hey, what'd you do today? Oh, I'm going over here. Oh, cool, I'm going over here. Where are we going? We are going yet. Yeah, we're going to get going in just a moment. So, um, is there anything more you can really think about? Um, so, just one thing about the kids club. Yes. The Oceaners club is for three, as long as they're potty trained, three to ten is the Oceaners. The three and four year olds, they like group them together because if you had a three and four year old just running around with a bunch of 10 year olds, that could be a little. Yeah. So, so just let you know, like they kind of separate the three and four year olds mm -hmm. together and then they have like one cast member probably for every two kids. So they're yeah, always like very well taken care of. Yes. Um, unlike Edge. Edge is free roaming. So if you take your kids to Edge, 11 to 12, um, they have in and out privilege whenever they want. There's no guidance. Yeah, they so don't check in and check out. Yeah, so if they just run out of the room, then they go to it. Yeah. But the, the Oceaneers Club, once they're five, yeah. they, they still check in and out, but they don't have like a cast member assigned to them. They can yeah. just run around the club. Well, that was our ship. It's our favorite ship. Still it's favorite? my favorite. It's still my yes. favorite too. Fantasies. Oh fantastic. yes, an itinerary. We love days at sea. If you notice, they didn't really get off the ship during those days at ports. Mm -mm. We I'd love... rather stay on the ship. Yeah, exactly. Well, I guess that's it. It was great. That was great. We should do it again. Maybe thirteen nights. I am pushing the thirteen night transatlantic Southampton to Port Canaveral on this ship right here next october yeah she's telling me no no i have you i said yes 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 it's now recorded and y'all can hear that so next year when she's like i don't know we should do this we'll just review the video let's and, do it and, let's and, do it do it book it no. angela book it <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed our cruise videos and today's video hit that like button lets us know you enjoyed something we did over the last week of course subscribe to the channel love the support it's free to do and uh if you guys are looking to book your next trip wherever you're trying to go angela is our travel advisor actually booked this cruise for us because mm -hmm. it was such a good deal yeah. that's why we went on it <laughs> So check out Travel with Angela in the description below. She is here to help you book that trip. But otherwise than that, everybody, this one says she's tired. This one says she needs more ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this one says... Um, it's time to go pack. We're moving. Oh, that's right. We're moving. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.